Deploy your own AI API in under 10 minutes. No rate limiting, no cost per call, and no middleman. Well, let's get started. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to run your own system where you're gonna have unlimited usage for AI and API. That means that you're going to be able to use automation applications like Zapier, Public Connect, Make, etc., to run your API. Now for this, I am using Olama, and Olama is gonna enable me to use a DeepSeq V3. I can use a Pi 4, and in this case, I'm also using a Gemma 3, Llama, and all these available large language models that I can use with API, which is extraordinary, right? Now this is installed on a VPS, and I actually have it installed on a Holstinger VPS, which is a super easy install, and I have a video for that, link in the description on how to install this which is super easy in less than five minutes, okay? So once you have your Olama ready to go on a BPS, let me show you the next steps after the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you're looking for a BPS to install Olama, this is definitely a great option. Go over to service, go to BPS hosting, and down here, you'll be able to find your BPS plans. I recommend KBM8 for this purpose, since API re is resource intensive, so you wanna have something that's actually powerful. Unless you use the basic models, you're definitely good to go with KVM 2 or 4, right? So do consider that. In this case, I'm gonna use KVM 8, which is $19.99 a month, but I'm going to show you how to apply a coupon code that the price is gonna drop even more. Now, the first thing that Holtinger is going to ask you is, how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months because it's gonna lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Now, this is the current price for the KVM 8 system, but if you click on have a coupon code, and type in my coupon or paste it in and apply it, the price is gonna drop to $431 with 78 cents. That's for two years paid off for the KVM8 BPS plan, all right? So now, how do we get this working? First thing I would recommend is that you install the AI models that you want to use in Olama. Now go over to your avatar, go to admin panel, go to settings, and in settings you'll find models. In models, these are the ones that I have installed, but to install new ones, Go ahead and click on manage models. There's a little link down here that takes you to all the models available. So it's going to show you every single model that we can go ahead and download in the old Llama BPS installation that we have. All you have to do is just grab the name, put it inside of here and start downloading it. Okay, and in this case, I already have the models that I wanna use and they are good to go. Now, after that's done, we are gonna need the bearer token for the API usage. So again, let's go back into the main space avatar again we're going to go into settings and then settings we're going to go into the account section and we're going to show the api keys so let's click on show i'm going to generate a new one since i'm going to use this for this purpose and i will be deleting afterwards here it is i am going to copy this code right here which i'm going to need for the api access for the automation system that i'm going to use in this case i am going to use public connect for this purpose now, with Public Connect, it's just like Zapier, Make, and all of those with automation softwares. As long as you have an API option, you can go ahead and use this, okay? Now, I would recommend, as a trigger, using something else, so then you can trigger your Olama API that you are actually hosting. So you're not gonna have any limits, issues, it's not gonna cost you anything, just the BPS that you're gonna purchase. But the AI usage, you can use it as much as you want, okay? So in this case, we are gonna choose the app, which is API. And in API, I am going to execute an API request. Let's go ahead and run the, the connection. We are gonna use the post option for this and we're gonna get the API and URL. Now, if you install this on, um, in this case, Hostinger or somewhere else, you're gonna need the link from the one provided. You can go ahead and use a custom domain or just use the, a, the IP that it provided. So let me go ahead and grab the IP for this purpose. I'm gonna use the API from this one. So let's go ahead and paste it in. This is going to be unique to you. This You're not gonna use this one and you will be adding this to your link, all right? So once we have that, we are gonna use the authentication and it's going to be the bearer token. That token is the one provided in Olama. So it's this one right here. Let's go ahead and paste it in here. And then we are going to do the parameters. So in parameters is where we're going to set up the details from the prompt that it's going to generate. So we're gonna need three parameters and let's go ahead and start with the setup. First one is the model and we're gonna use the model that is the one that we have installed. If it's not installed, you won't be able to use it. Be aware of that, okay? Now, depending on the model that you want to use is the one that you're going to select. And I'm just looking at it right here because I know I have it installed. So I'm gonna paste, grab that, copy it, 
and I'm going to paste it over here on Pavli as the value. That's the model that it's going to use to generate whatever I want. Okay. Then we have the prompt and in prompt, we're going to say just uh, write a 100 word about Pavli Connect. Okay. Right? Just something simple. Yes, we can use the parameters with something else that you might have generated in the past over here. But in this case, I want to keep it simple. And then I'm going to add the next label, which is stream. And in this case, it will be false. Okay. So these are the parameters that you need to use. Remember the API endpoint that needs to have this. And before that, you need to add your own details for your own installation, domain, IP, et cetera, right? Baron token, the model labels, and let's go ahead and run the test right now. That means that it's going to write for me the request that we've just requested right here in this case with this model, and it's going to use the API from the BPS where I have the AI installed, which is Olama, which is doing the work. And we just got the result right here, just like that. Using this model, I got this result with the prompt that we've just put out right now. So I can go ahead and change this value to another prompt, or I can use the value from something that was triggered before, maybe a form that was filled out, an email that you received, and you want to generate something using your API request. But that's how easy it is to not pay for API for AI usage when you can host your own on a BPS. All you need to do in this case is install Olama, grab the bearer token, and download the models and start using them as much as you want on your BPS and on your AI automations. So that's a fantastic option for anyone who wants to do unlimited usage without having to worry about the rate limiting, the cost per tokens and all that. Because in this case, you are hosting the large language model on the Llama and the old Llama is installed on a BPS like it is in this case. So old Llama is installed on this um, BPS that I have, which is a KVM eight and I am running it and I can run the AI as much as I want with the models that I have installed. So definitely check it out, try it for yourself. And that's how easy it is to set up your API here on Pavli connect or any other other automation system that you want to use that has the API option. So there you go. Get started right away.